It's the Belgian Summer Festival! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to this episode of the Acro Yoga Vlog. <laughs> this vlog, we were at the Belgium Acro Summer Festival, a festival that we also were last year and we love it for the community vibes. And the amazing food yes. and the variety of teachers. So join us in this episode. You're going to see uh, a bunch of our classes, what we taught. Uh, an unfortunate thing happened in one of our classes, so stay tuned for that. Um, a few classes that we took as students. Yes. Yeah. Lots of learning, lots of frustration, lots of fun, lots of love, lots of good people, and uh, it was an amazing time. So I hope you will enjoy it just as much as we did. And towards the end, if you stay tuned, there's a little clip you're going to see of me basing Trevor. It's one of my highlights of the festival in an attempt at a 180. So stay tuned for that one. Yay! See you in there! See ya. It's the return of Leonard and Yvonne. Hey. It's where the teachers sleep. We're one of the first ones to arrive. We've claimed our bed. Laura's grabbing uh, some bed sheets and pillows. Laura has got a burger for dinner. We're wandering back over to the, uh, the festival venue. Just ran into uh, Henrika and Mikael from Finland. It's kind of cool because we're going to be seeing them in um, in uh, Finn Acro as well. First evening, people starting jamming. It's the first evening of the festival and we are warming up some handsprings and reverse twist bets, the class we will teach on the first day. And it's not going super smooth, especially the reverse twisker bet was a bit of a struggle in the warm ups, but you'll see some attempts. Breakfast at festival. Yo. There's some yummy stuff some yogurt, granola, homemade strawberry jam, and there's some drinks and shit over here. And this is what we're eating. We got a huge goblet of. Granola. Day one of the festival, and we were teaching an Icarians class on a handspring and a reverse twist called Bet. Yeah, we love teaching these skills um, because it is Icarian, which we love, and uh, we think these two skills are very fun. Um, it was just not so great for us practicing them just before the demos, it didn't went super well, therefore, it was a bit off during the demo. Um, luckily, the class and the teaching uh, was better and went well. We just had a minor thing happening. Yeah, so in the class we had a little injury. One of the students came round from a handspring and landed and her foot landed on the floor and she twisted her ankle. Um, and I was a bit worried at first. I thought she might have broken her foot or something even worse, but it was a twist of the ankle, which is also not great. Um, we really try always to teach in a safe way and teach safe progressions and we really felt we did that with this one. Um, and at first I was spotting, I was co-spotting with one of the other students, the flyer, in the move and I had my hands on and I was supporting some of the weight. Um, but I at first thought, oh damn it, like I did something wrong as the spotter, I didn't support enough, which in reflection maybe I still could have um, supported a little bit more and carried a bit more weight. Um, but afterwards, uh, after talking with everyone and kind of obviously dealing with the injury and then carrying on teaching the class, but after talking with the base, um, we found out that he said that he just didn't catch the flyer, um, which makes a lot of sense in my mind of how it came around. That uh, The pop took off very well, it looked really good, came around nicely. Both me and the other spotter had the hands on, we were supporting some of the weight. 
but there was just no catch from the base at all and so although we held the flyer up somewhat she still landed with some force on her feet and twisted one of her ankles so was not a great start to the festival no yeah. put us a bit off um but we tried to get the glass going as well as we can while dealing with her and making sure she's well taken care of um and yeah i think we did that well and it's always sorry if it happens uh, and just yeah it. injuries do happen and yeah there's some learning always could have spotted even stronger um and you know, we reflected on this in our teaching of could we have given more cues to the base of like to catch or whatever, but we did a bunch of drills, we practiced the catch already. Um, so yeah, it's sometimes things can go wrong, unfortunately. Lunchtime or the end of lunchtime. People washing up the stuff, people eating. Lots of acro yogis. We took the Corbett class from Sam and Connectrini and it was cool for us to practice this skill in a way with progressions and proper explanation of the technique. We've practiced Corbett's before but this gave us some breakthroughs in the understanding of the technique and how it actually uh, for me as a flyer feels very similar to how our handspring feels. Yeah same for the bass, I, I have to treat it a little bit more like a handspring and give a bit of more directional push from the hands uh, to make it work a little bit better. Yeah, and then the other thing we had actually in this class at some point, we got a little confused with the spotting um, in our group and we had several attempts of trying to figure out which way is best to spot it. Um, but in the end, all got going good and we had quite a few attempts and in the end we had quite a nice one landing. Yay! <laughs> so we need to practice this a bit more and hopefully get it out of spots. Yes, soon. Dinner, and they actually have a workshop around here after dinner. This is day one. Yes. Yeah. We just went up to our room to get some chocolate. Um, yeah, and we're about to teach uh, the standing foundations workshop for this evening. It's a race! Slow and steady, don't fall! <laughs> oh, Finland in the lead! Day two, we don't have any classes today uh, that we're teaching, so we slept in a little and we'll enjoy taking some workshops and jamming. Let's go! <laughs> this is the lunch setup. Maybe we go do some tricks in there later, yeah? On day two, we got to take a knots class from Killian and Katrine. Um, Killian is an absolute giant of a man and uh, also a very skilled acro yogi. I got a lot of respect for him because he's, he's huge and very strong, but he's actually also very technically skilled. He doesn't let his strength just dictate uh, his acro. So yeah, they gave a really cool knots class, a lot of tips. 
Um, unfortunately, well, fortunately, unfortunately, we find not particularly challenging. I find one arm basing in standing still quite a big challenge for me in my posture and positioning. So we had um, some success, but also a lot to work on, a lot of takeaways and a little bit of frustration as well. Um, but yeah, lots to practice from here. played a little bit with Kevin, this really cool bass and fly, very skilled, um, and tried a few extended hand-to-hands, yeah! but didn't quite uh, nail it this time. And later we jammed with Nenad and Yelena, who we taught the move Twisted Waiter, a skill that I made together with another bass that you can see in episode 1. So this was one of my absolute highlights of the festival, getting to bass Trevor in some log pops and we tried a 180 and Trevor is an incredible bass uh, and he's actually a very controlled and skilled flyer as well. We actually nail a nice 180 as you can see here so that was a proper celebration at the end. I'm not sure, I don't think Trevor's flown this before um, and he's a little bit bigger than me so it was quite a, quite an achievement. It was a nice feeling yeah, and definitely a highlight of this festival for me. Hanabi. We played this last year with Lena Adon as well at the same festival and we've played it a few times since as well. Mm. What's your clue, Lena? Oh yeah, I'm going to tell you that this car is a free. Oh my it's god, a that's a it's terrible a clue. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see if we win. This was the first episode of our first half of the Belgium Acro Summer Festival. Stay tuned for the next episode because there's more to come. We had new classes, different stuff, different jamming, other skills that we did. Days three and four. And uh, I based a base who's way taller than me in a crazy skill. So you can have a look at that as well. Yeah. yeah stay tuned. Subscribe if you want to see how that goes and to see us on the next episode. Yeah. See you there. Bye.